Our top story tonight, a Lafayette police officer who lost his job after being accused of using excessive force once his firing overturned. During a civil service board hearing about six months ago, the board heard why former officer Alex Ritter believes he was wrongfully terminated. Well, today the board decided Ritter will have to wait a bit longer for an answer. News 10's senior reporter Renee Allen tells us why the board is delaying a decision. Former LPD officer Ritter is accused of punching and using excessive force against a man who was in his custody. Ritter argues that he used a such force to regain control of a situation that had gotten out of hand. Trainers with the LPD testified during that earlier hearing that they had hoped Ritter would have transitioned to another tactic earlier on. Seeing him transition sooner rather than later. Yes, ma'am. But that's just from a train's perspective. The board learned that Ritter was one month shy of being confirmed for civil service protections. When the incident that led to his firing occurred, an officer has to have a year in to qualify. Ritter's oh, attorney, was, Allison Malonso, explains. According to the board, they have determined that they never ruled on that that issue confirmation which which equals eligibility to even come before the board now the civil services decision is to put the confirmation decision on an upcoming agenda for them to rule on we're going to have a hearing on that issue alone uh -huh. eligibility and, and that hinges on whether he was a and it's a term of order confirmed Lafayette police officer at that time. Malonson says if the board determines Ritter was confirmed and eligible to appeal his termination, then the board will next decide if the termination was a good cause or not. If they decide he wasn't eligible, then that's it. The board will notify both the city and Ritter's attorney about the date for the confirmation decision. Renee Allen reporting, Kelly News 10.